What's up guys? Got another tutorial for you in Power Director 18. This is called the Nightcrawler Effect and this is really cool. First thing I'm going to do is drag this video down and it's going to be quite long. We don't need the audio, so I'm going to take the audio out of it. Now, the first thing you're going to do is set up your camera and then you're actually going to jump up in the air. So you're going to see here as I go, I give a jump. And there we go. I got that section. That's all you need. Then you're going to walk on over to the other side. And you're going to get yourself all set up over here. And that was over too far. So I'm going to move it ahead a little bit. So once you get all set up. Then you're actually going to jump again. And then we have the complete video. So that's all you're doing. Set up the video. Jump over by one side. Jump over by the other side. Boom. We're good to go. So let's look at where I'm going to cut this now. I'm going to move it over. We're going to jump. Stop. I'm good there. I'm going to slice it. Boom. Now I'm going to go way down to the other end. Get myself set up. Right about there. I'm going to move it back a bit to make it a little easier. We can do it frame by frame here as you can see. Okay. And we're going to slice it there. Now everything in the center here. I'm going to hit, click it and then I'm going to hit delete and I'm going to say remove and fill gap bring it all the way back so now we've got these two clips I really don't need what's on the back end so I can move that ahead a little bit right about there maybe a little more okay right there I can cut that too and we get rid of that poof now we're ready to go let's have a look at this now this is where we jump and then we appear over there. So you see how that looked? Let's have another look at that. Jump. And we appear over there. Okay, so what we're going to do here, before we do anything else and get all fancy, okay, I want to jump up in the air and cut it off about halfway. Wait, right about there. And then what I want to do is I want to move ahead a little bit. And when I get myself pretty much halfway in the air, well, coming down too quick there. Come back up over one right there. So now I'm going to cut that right in that place. Click that middle part. We're going to delete that and we're going to fill that gap. There we go. Same thing's going to apply here, except this one we want to get ourselves halfway in the air with this one. So probably about there. And then we're going to cut that. Again, always cutting in the middle, always removing the middle and filling the gap. So let's have a look at that now, and let's move that in. Up we go, and poof, down we go. Perfect. Notice we did that halfway up and halfway down. Now we need some smoke. Well, I just happen to have some smoke, guys. Of course I do. And the smoke is quite big, and I'm going to actually play it so you can see. So there's my smoke. So it's going to take a little bit of finessing here. So what I want to do is I want to enter my green screen room, which is in my PIP designer. I can also double click on it and it'll take me directly into the PIP designer. I want to hit my chroma key. I want to select the black and then it's going to disappear. Hit OK. We don't get to get all fancy there with it. Now once I've done that and I got the chroma key hit, then I'm going to go into tools. I'm going to go to power tools and I'm going to go into my video speed. I want to speed that smoke up and I want to speed it up a lot. Right now we're at 1. I want to move that to a 6. And say OK. Now what that's going to do is going to shrink it up. As you see there. And what we're trying to do with this. Is we kind of want it on our chest. Is where we want it. So you kind of got to play with this a little bit. And get the hang of it. And move this where you need it to be. Kind of on the chest there. And I'm going to expand it a little bit. And just keep moving it around where you want it. Okay. Then I'm going to go back. And I'm going to play it again. And the smoke was too soon. Did you see that? Too soon. I'm going to move it over a little bit. And literally this is all you're doing. You're, you're actually just replaying, replaying. Trying to find that perfect spot. Not there. Let's move it over find out where my red line is. 
I'm going to go almost near the end. There's my jump. Probably right there. So I want it right about there. So I'm going to move that over to there. And then I'm actually going to grab the end and shrink it down. And that should be good there. So now I'm going to go back and have another look at it. And let's see about getting it. This is probably the hardest part. That's not too bad there. Let's have a look at it again. Go ahead. Yeah, that's not too bad there. Okay. We're going to single click on that. And I'm going to copy it. Or you can hit Control C. And then I'm going to make sure I go to the end here. So the red line goes at the end. And then I'm going to hit Control V. And I'm going to bring that down. This way I've got an exact copy. And then I need to move it over so because I've got two of them now. And I need to get this one when I'm just appearing in the frame so that way a little bit more. Okay, let's go back. Let's see what we got. Smoke appears, smoke appears. I was always down so I got to move that over a little bit more. Let's see what that does. Oh, oh, too soon. So I got to shrink up the first one. Slide it over a little bit. Trim only. And then I got to bring this one in a little bit more. So let's go and have a look at that and see how close we are. Not too bad. Give me one more look at that. Up, down. Pretty close. But you can see I'm just playing around with the smoke there. And the same thing applies. I mean, I can grab the end here and trim this in to give it a better effect. And then uh, just give it there. Now, the only thing this is lacking is two sounds. And the one sound I want to use is a quick swoosh, which is this one here. And I kind of want to use it for the first one. So I'm going to move this all the way over to the first smoke. And when I get that lined up, I'm going to say trim only. And there we go. So now that sound is lined up with the first one over here. Now the other one I'm going to use is a hard hitting effect. And I want to use that for the second smoke. And again, I want to move this over. And now we got that almost lined up. So now let's give it a quick play. Now that looks kind of cool. What do you guys think of that? That's the Nightcrawler effect done in PowerDirector 18. Poof, poof. That looks really, really, really cool. And that's basically how you do it. Now if you want the sound files, I've got the links in the bottom. I've also got the smoke in the bottom. And they're completely free. You can get better smoke out there, but they're very expensive. I mean, if you want to spend the money and get a better look, you can. And other people have made them on uh, different sites. But that's pretty much the gist of it. You're just taking your camera and recording yourself jumping and then cutting everything in the middle. And then <coughs> pasting it together type of thing. So that looks really cool. So what did you guys think? Let me know in the comment section. Do you like the night crawler, night crawler effect? You want to see me make more videos on effects? And effects? Let me know in the comment section. Give me a thumbs up, guys. Thanks for watching Power Director Tutorials. If you want to watch another video over here, you can see yourself in another tutorial. If you would like, subscribe and get more tutorials on Power Director. At any rate, guys, if you would, hit the like button, and I'll catch you guys on the next one.